Welcome back to the Pulse of St. Louis. A local bookstore is inviting the whole St. Louis region to come out for a full day of fun and community bonding. It's twofold. One is to celebrate Juneteenth. The other is to mark the eighth anniversary of I See Me Bookstore, which is celebrating both its eighth anniversary and a very special honor being named the 2023 Independent Bookstore of the year. Joining us are owner Jeffrey Blair. Welcome. Oh, thank you for having me. And we also have local author Thomas Deere. And when you hold up the, the book you got here, this yeah. is your book. It is called Teddy Makes Sense. And we'll get into that in just a second. Let's talk about what I See Me is. First of all, Jeffrey, congratulations. Thank you. On the award and eight years. Yes. So you sell children's books, mm -hmm. but not just any kind of children's books. Mm -hmm. What sets your shop? apart from the others. Well, thank you for having us here. We reached eight years. Myself and my wife are the owners of, a, of the bookstore, and we started out to try to fill that gap to make sure that all children can see themselves in the books that they read. And uh, raising our own children, we had, it was a challenge for us trying to find books for our children that reflected, you know, their culture, their hair, their skin, just all those things. And so we wanted to fill that gap. And we want to make sure that all children can really feel that because we know that that is a, a one of the foundations to ensure that um, that children actually feed into literacy, right? Is to make sure that the representation in that book that they can connect with. I was going to say one word I think of when I think of I See Me is representation. Absolutely. And it's not just children's books. You go all the way up through young adults. Yeah, we, we um, from baby board books to elementary, middle school, high school, and even adults. You know, we start out with the children and the adults and teachers like, we need books for us too. Um, sometimes teachers would like, we want to include diverse books into our curriculum. We're not sure how. So we include books that would also help them with that, as well as some programming too to help them with that as well. That's great. We have a, an author here on set, yes. Thomas Deer, University City Raised, is that yes. right? Yes. And tell us what this book is that you wrote. It's called? Teddy Makes Sense, yes. Uh, Teddy Makes Sense is a story about a young man who doesn't quite have the understanding when it comes to money, right? And eventually he learns how to be responsible with his money, the value of money, and how to set money saving goals. And he's uh, originally from uh, University City. Ah, yes. and you're teaching, we're, we're talking about small children and talking about financial literacy. Yes. Whoever would have yes. imagined that? Tell me about it. Tell me about <laughs> it. <laughs> uh, tell us kind of the, how this all starts out, with the book. Yes. So uh, when it came to the book, or just more so me creating the book, it more so started from my time working in the banking industry, in which I had a chance to then volunteer through Junior Achievement, a nonprofit organization, right? And with that opportunity, I was able to more so uh, visit schools and teach curriculums that would help to educate them on the importance of financial literacy. And then following that, it led me to then want to write a children's book, which would allow me to, you know, merge the two, right? Financial literacy and children's literature. I heard that you have spoken to schools in the St. Louis area. Yes. And when you talk to students, they have asked you if you are Teddy. Yes. What do you yes. tell them? I tell them yes, because in actuality, <laughs> Teddy is uh, <laughs> my nickname. It started off as a family nickname, and by the time I got to high school, I, I attended a high school uh, in which my cousin was there as well, and the name just stuck, right? He would call me that, and so many others, you know, eventually grew to know me as Teddy. And so I figured, why not, you know, name the character, you know, Teddy as well. It's personal in so many ways. Yes, it is. And, and Jeffrey, when you think about it, you have... I bet so many other offers. Could you would you say that's right? Who have kind of a personal connection to their absolutely, and that's one of the benefits also of the bookstore that we didn't know was that we connected such interesting people and dynamic people and help them get their story told as well. So it's great to be part of an ecosystem that really can help fill those gaps. Yes. But financial literacy is a gap, right? Yes, it it's is. There, yes, it you don't is. normally get that like in school. So to be able to have a place that we can, you know, have and 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 feature uh, these type of voices, that's what ISM is all about. Yeah, you know, we're looking now at video of the shop. It's off of Olive Boulevard in University City. I remember you guys moved. You expanded a few years ago. Yes. Uh, kind of overwhelming to look at all of this now, but fortunately you have a website that kind That's of steers right. people. 100%. So let's show the 
updated website. That's Tell right. Tell us how it works. So it's www.icme.com. That's E-Y-E-S-E-E-M-E, icme.com. You want to make sure that all children can see themselves in the books that they read. And so what we did is we moved to a new website that actually the foundation is Book Manager, which is a, a in, independent bookstore sort of um, champion in the bookstore industry. And what we did is there's three things we wanted to address and listening to our customers. We wanted to increase their ability for them to search and find the books that they need. So now you can sort of filter on yeah, you age, can filter here. on type. Yeah. Uh, new re we've got books on Juneteenth that are there. Um, also new releases. So, you know, prior on our older website, we had to actually go out to the industry web databases, pull all the information and manually put it over into the website. That took time. And so um, books that may be coming out three, six months in advance, we, we wouldn't get to it yet. Now our customers can get and find any book that's printed out there. They can get from our website. And how nice that you can even search by age range. That's right. Right? Age range. Like zero to two. That's two right. To four. And even in there, if you go digging deeper, you can even do type. So zero to three books on science, zero to three books on finance. Like you can really, really fine tune your filter in. So want. we were like, this is something about customers I think we really enjoy. One thing that uh, I, I was not aware until you told me this recently is this recent award. You yes. Received. Tell us what it is. Uh, such an honor, uh, such an honor. Um, oh, wow. So, you know, we're an independent, independent bookstore. We're part of the um, ABA, American Booksellers Association, and a subgroup of that is the Midwest Booksellers Association. And that covers books throughout the Midwest, all the way, you know, from Texas, all the way up to Michigan, all the way out to like Utah. And, um, and so we're one of many. And so this year we were selected as the winner of uh, the 2023 Bookseller of the Year. And uh, a part of that is what we do in the bookstore and our mission of course, but also we also do in the community, such as creating platforms for independent authors like uh, like Teddy. <laughs> no, but that really is a great way to showcase their work. For yes. sure. And, and, and to really collaborate yes, with other indeed. authors as well. Tell us about how you are marking this eighth anniversary. Um, so we're trying to push it out. You should hopefully go to our website, join our mailing list so that you'll be able to find out all the things that's coming out. But that whole weekend is going to have events. It's the weekend of June 17th, which is June, um, Juneteenth weekend. It's our anniversary. Uh, as I was telling the story a little while ago, that's when we had first opened up and started was uh, was on Juneteenth. And, um, and so we're going to have, you know, a lot of fun activities. Uh, bouncy house. We're going to have pony rides. We're going to have story time. Uh, we're going to do a lot of different things and really just thank the community for their support, allowing us to be here for eight years. We don't take it, we don't take it lightly, you know, for a small business to be around eight years. I was going to say, especially during COVID. Especially you made it yes. through COVID. So we really want to thank the community and want them to come out and really celebrate with us. And if you can't make it that night, uh, you've got this open mic night. Oh, What's yeah. that all about? So, you know, again, post-COVID now, we're having a lot more in-store activities, including story time, things for parents as well and moms. And so it's going to be an open mic so, we can, so uh, you know, sort of like, you know, the, the adults can come and sort of have fun a little mm -hmm. bit, you know, in, in that type of environment and with others as well. And you've done it already so far? Uh, we've had one already and now we're How'd going go? to have another one. It was great. It was absolutely great. It was fabulous. It was like well attended and people just love that, they love the atmosphere and the environment. Great. Well, what an exciting opportunity. And for yeah. people who have never visited the shop, uh, I see me off of Olive Boulevard in New City. You definitely want to visit and see just the variety Sure. Of, of, of books that you have. It's really impressive. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, so you much. Jeffrey. Thank you to Thomas Deere. Congratulations Thank you. Thank you. on your book. Straight ahead on the Pulse of St. Louis. I opened my email and all of a sudden I just see uh, the President and Dr. Biden request the pleasure of your company at a celebration. A local man gets